Hey, genderqueer chat. Ricky here. I've got a friend with me today. This is Jesse. I don't know. You can't see him. But uh, he'll probably have his face up on the screen at some point in this video. There he goes. All right. Um, this week's label is... I mean, this week's topic is the label, label games and what labels have you... Um, like adopted or internalized over the years. Um, I have to say this is a difficult topic for me because I don't like labels. I really don't like labels at all and uh, it's... Uh, I, I have a really hard time um, labeling myself. I understand the usefulness of labels and that they are you know useful for describing to other people like you know, describing, you know, I have blonde hair, or like, you know, green shirt, that kind of thing. But, uh, in terms of something like your identity, I don't think that the label of your, your, um, you know, gender identity or sexual identity can be really described in a label. Um... And I, I think that a lot of the time labels can put people, sort of like trap people in boxes, you know, and make people try to try to be a certain way instead of just being themselves. And I don't, I don't like that. Um, so, that being said, various labels that I've had over the years have been for the pure purpose of... Um, you know, having an answer for when other people say, you know, are you this, are you that, or, you know, are you gay, are you this, are you that, like, what's up with you? <laughs> um, so my l label timeline, I guess, when I was young, I was a wee little child, no, not a child, when I was, like, you know, becoming a teenager, I identified as bisexual. Well, when I was a child, I was a tomboy. And that wasn't a label that I put on myself. That was sort of a label that I think other people put on me. And I I don't know if I internalized that or not. Um, but then I was, uh, I was a, yeah, so I guess I was a tomboy. And then getting older, I'm not Jesse. Getting older, I was, uh, I think, oh, when I was a teenager, I guess like a young teenager, I, I knew I was bisexual. Um, I thought I might be gay. Um, so, but I, I identified like openly as bisexual. And then, um, when I was probably about like 19 or 20 ish, um, I, you know, I'd started sort of thinking about gender and stuff, but, uh, to the outside world, I identified as gay. Um, I didn't like the word lesbian. I never, I never thought I was a lesbian. I was never comfortable with that, because I guess I was never comfortable with the whole, you know, overly female thing. And I think for me, in my little mind, I think that, uh, gay was sort of another, it was like sort of the word for queer that <laughs> people sort of knew, you know, like people in mainstream society. Um, and, <laughs> Jesse. Um, but yeah, then I, I came across, like I started learning more about uh, gender issues and trans issues and everything, and I found the term genderqueer, and what I liked about being able to say genderqueer, again, like, to other people, not really to myself, but, uh, was that genderqueer isn't, you know, like, there's so many different, um, descriptions of what genderqueer is, and there's so many, <laughs> dog knows, <laughs> there's so many people that are you know, like, genderqueer covers, you know, people that feel that they are a combination of both genders, you know, male and female, feels that they're in the middle, feel that they're neither. So it covers all of that. So 
in terms of a descriptive term, I think that genderqueer, mm. <laughs> genderqueer is a pretty good um, descriptive term for what I am, because I feel like I don't have a gender. I, I, I don't connect to gender at all. It's not part of who I am. Um, so, yeah, and now, like, a lot of the time, you know, if people, like, people straight up ask me, like, oh, are you, are you gay or are you, like, a lesbian? I'll say, no, I'm queer. And I just usually tend to identify as queer. Um, so, I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about this topic. I know that, uh, some other people might have more to say. Like, I think I've heard Cole say before that they, uh, they like labels. So, they might be a little more interesting to watch this week. So, uh, sorry guys. Um, but yeah. Have a good week, and I will see you next week. Bye.